of the band uh, goes all the way back to 1986 where I moved out to Boulder, Colorado and started uh, the samples. Um, we named our band the samples after surviving off of supermarket samples of food, little bits of food that were in the King Super supermarkets. Finding our sound over the years has been pretty much a combination of all different influences. And I've been influenced by every, anything from the Beatles to Neil Young to uh, Bruce Hornsby to and it's incredible. The list is too, too huge to, to go into and I'm sure it's different for all of us. We can jam but we also have these incredible harmonies and vocals and almost like a Crosby, Stills and Nash at Woodstock feel. When I go see a movie I get influenced by soundtracks to a movie and it makes me want to go home and write a song or it accentuates a part in the movie or a scene that was really moving. Another mountain is going up in flames. Whoever stops to really smell the road. Will it call them by? Our uh, most recent CD was made last year. It was called, uh, it is called Anthology in Motion. Tom Askin and I both mixed it together and we decided to make it, uh, rather than just a single CD, we turned it more into a anthology in motion. We call it that because there's probably going to be a, a two, three, and four. We have that many songs. And Tom mixed it and what do you got to say yeah, about that? Well, Tom? we started out just doing, uh, heading into the studio after a lengthy tour and we thought to put together a live album from that tour and some other uh, recordings we'd had from some previous tours. Uh, my writing process is interesting. I usually write uh, songs, uh, lyrics second and then the music first. We have a song, uh, a Little Silver Ring, that is one of those tunes. It's a, a pretty uh, simple song. But it's a really cool tune because we still play it live and it becomes a rocking song, but it's, its origins in itself uh, it was written when I was about 17 years old. So it's kind of a real novelty to be able to play this song so many years later and have this whole new feel to it. Another one of our songs, Streets in the Rain, uh, I wrote, which coincidentally both are an, on Anthology in Motion. I wrote that song about a good friend of mine uh, back in Vermont who invited me to, to his wedding um, as to be the best man, but we were touring at the time and I had to, to cancel my being the best man, so instead I wrote him a song, and that's called Streets in the Rain. I endorse bootleggers and bootlegging CDs and tapes. I know how powerful that is and I know what an uh, incredible network it is when people do, do that and it's flattering on top of everything else. And in the midst of everyone trying to shut that stuff down, I think that a band should have its own right as to what it wants to do as long as it has the legal right and it's not tied into to something that doesn't have obligations of its own. But we certainly endorse, anyone could burn our music. We, we burn CDs constantly and we tell people to burn our CDs and just spread the music. 